Holy Wire Mod. Holy Wire Mod here. This is going to be tutorial 13C in the Lewis series where we continue with VGUI elements. And we're going to be doing labels and color mixers here. So, labels are simply text that you put onto a frame or a panel in this case. So, let's start by creating the label. And we're going to be using the same method as all the other VGUI elements. So, this one which can be found here in the VGUI elements is called dlabel, which is a standard dermatex label. All right, so let's put dlabel and we're going to be parenting it to self. Now, label is kind of fun because uh, you can actually make your custom text and all like and all that stuff, custom fonts and apply it to labels. Uh, you can do all kinds of stuff with them. So I'm going to actually set font to the one that we created in the client right here, which is my font. And this was created when doing the surface library. So anyway, so to reference that, it's my font. And the only reason that we're able to actually use this font, even though it's in another file, is because this file is included in the here before the font's been created. So this uh, happens and we only create the panel a little while after. So the font's actually being implemented before this panel is created, which is why it works like that. So I thought you'd find that interesting. So let's us now set the text and I'm going to put this as a title for the panel. So we'll say derma panel test menu just like that and let us set the position and remember the border of this panel is set at 2 2 so I'm going to set the position here at 4 4 and that's going to put it in the top left hand corner so something you should also consider is this very useful very useful command because when you put this in game it's going to look like this because there's not enough width to actually retain the entire message. So in order to do that, what you'd be doing is saying label size to contents, right? Very simple. Now there are a bunch of other things you can do with a label, like you can uh, set if it's bright, which will turn it white. You can set it to dark, which will turn it black but these I uh, don't really find any use for, but there's a bunch of other ones on the wiki you can use. So anyway, all right, so we have the title done. So now let us get into the next one, which is the color mixer, right? So color mixer not only lets you get the red, green, and blue values, but it also lets you get the alpha, which is kind of cool too. So this one, if we actually look in the wiki, is called the color mixer. So see a red, green, blue, alpha color mixer. So we do that. So say color mixer. And again, we are parenting it to the self. So we'll say, I'll just copy this. So I don't have to keep typing. We're going to align its center. Um, we're going to set the palette as true. And this enables or disables the color palette, which is that square box you see with all the colors in it. Then color mixer will set alpha bar. So of course this is the alpha bar. Are you going to enable it or disable it? And then there's little text values or text boxes next to the alpha bar called set wangs. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll point it out as soon as we go in game. So that can be enabled or disabled. And also, which is interesting, is you can actually set the color or the initial color for the color mixer. So um, you can do like what 10, 90, and I don't know, 180, something like that. It doesn't really matter. All right. So the next thing that we want to do, we have the color mixer set up but we need a way to actually get the color and the alpha that the color mixer has been uh, that the color mixer got. So in order to do that, I'm going to set up a button called mix button. And this one's called 
as uh, last time you remember it's the button which again we parent to the self and now we're going to have to say set text we don't have to say but preferably and we'll say enable so when it click this button it's going to allow us to grab the color and do stuff with it which you're gonna see in a little bit it's gonna be awesome all right so we're gonna set size and we'll use a default we use for the last button 5030 now we set the position now you remember up here we grab the size of the actual panel itself and we got the X and the Y value or the uh, width and the height but I'm just calling it X and Y so we can think mathematically here so we'll set position to width divided by 2 minus the size of the button divided by 2 the width of the button divided by 2 and then we we'll use Y divided by 2 or the height divided by 2 and subtracting the height uh, right here divided by 2 and this puts the button as it is directly in the center however this is already in the center so we're going to need to lower it and I'm going to lower it about 140 pixels so that should be a safe number alright so next we want this button to do something if you recall do click and you don't need parentheses so we say function and we've got to end that function and then we're going to do another function inside the function and we're going to end that and we're going to do self paint so we're going to be painting the panel so we're going to have the width and height and we're pretty much going to be taking these values right here so just going to copy and paste save us some time and except this color is going to be the output of this color so when we press the button the panel itself's color will change according to what you selected on the color mixer again if, like I said if you don't know what's going on just yet as soon as I go in game it's gonna make perfect sense so we're gonna do that with get color and let's we'll save that and that right there should be everything that you need so let's go in game and see what happens alright so we're now in game so I'm gonna press the F4 and at the top left corner you see derma and panel test menu so that's this label right here and position and size to content I'm actually going to remove this um, and I'll show you what happens when that gets removed in a little bit but as you can see here's the color palette now this is the palette that I'm modifying right now then this bar right here is the alpha that you see going up and down the numbers that are getting modified to the right are the wangs and that's about everything so let's click the enable button so now the the panel color is getting set to whatever I set the wang to so if I click any of these uh, values below that's a solid color you can modify the alpha so if you really want to get an idea what your panel is going to look like this is actually a good method to do it and uh, to pick the perfect color for you so I guess I uh, will do like a blue or something like that so yeah um, and really quick, uh, closing it and opening it does not change the value and you don't have to click the button again since it's already been activated. So that's interesting. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like for the label when you do not put size to contents. So I will rejoin and be right back. Alright, so we're back again. And this time off the screen I commented out size to contents so it actually did not load on the client side this time. And when I press F4 as you can see it says dir dot 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 dir alright so yes like I said to fix this this is uh, use size to content it's really good and anyway that's going to conclude everything for the color mixer and the labels if you have any questions on this too please let me know and until then I'll see you in the next video